Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your February 2024 New Moon reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously, and it gets this channel seen by the YouTube algorithm. So thank you so very much for doing so. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Okay, I like this reading. I do. You're coming through very, very strong. You're represented by justice in the major arcana, and you're coming through with that justice energy right here, right now. And that is a huge thing. So you're stepping into your power. You're stepping into yourself. You're going to see that things are a bit out of balance from this new moon. Now, either to the full moon or to the new moon, depending how moon sensitive you are. So do be aware of this during this time because you can see the little things kind of because we have the six of pentacles reverse. You can see the little things kind of being out of balance and that can drive you like it can drive you bonkers really seriously to be like, that's not right. And that's not right. Don't be as nitpicky during this time. Kind of step back from that. The world is opening up to you, but there's also a sense of saying, what do I need? What do I want? Where's my soul? What do I desire? Like, I know saying where's my soul is a bit odd to say, but like, where's my soul leading me? You know, what is it that my heart wants? What is it that is here for me? And what constraints am I putting myself in that spirit's saying, hey, let go of it. We're going to see that we're walking forward really in the essence of ourselves. Justice is right here. We're represented by justice in the major arcana. We're cutting through doubts and fears, negativity, hurt, pain, disappointment. We are looking at a balance, but we're also not going to be making ourselves crazy, trying to be just fair, balanced, everything being just so for everyone. There's going to be a harmonizing factor to ourselves during this time. We are going to be facing obstacles that we have faced before. They're going to hit us a bit hard, so do be mindful about that. With the Ace of Swords, God, Source, Spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, is handing us a gift of clarity, of cutting through doubts and fears and negativity, a real knowing of our voice, what we desire, what we want, how we're moving forward for ourselves, clarity of mind. We have a wicked sharp wit during this time, so do be aware of that. We can also be a bit blunt, so being aware of that is going to be super important as well. We're going to be taking this gift most definitely because, of course, Justice holds the sword in her hand. So let's see here what Spirit has to say. Oh, and we're crowned by the moon, which is also Pisces energy. We're moving into Pisces. Pisces period starts on the 19th of February to the 20th of March. So we're looking at a balancing of ourselves, but we're also calling forward fears and doubts and disappointments that we have had and have had to face. And so we're going to be seeing ourselves moving forward more in a clarity, more in an insight and more in an understanding. But do note that certain fears will be coming up and we'll be like, oh my gosh, can I do this? Can I do that? You know, how do I move forward? Where is it that I need to be? So taking that into consideration, not into consideration, but just knowing that we're harmonizing ourselves is going to be super important. Let's see what spirit has to say. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a heart in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced on a video or in a video on the 1st of March. So good luck to everyone. Do not be scammed by anybody contacting you in the comment box. You know, saying congratulations. It will not be me. So do be mindful about that. And if you are interested in purchasing a private reading, a private personalized meditation, or a healing, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. I do have for a limited time only a special deal. Well, not a special deal. I'm offering mini readings. So if you go on my site and you see mini readings, that is the limited time offer by popular request that is there. So let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. And here we have faith. We don't need to belong to an orthodoxy. It is just simply moving forward in faith, moving forward in beauty, moving forward in connection that is going to be so important to us. It is saying here, when spirit is saying to us, what do we have faith in? What is it that guides us forward? And we're going to be opening up the doors to ourselves and really saying, where do I need to be for me? You know, what is it that I desire? What is it that is that is leading me forward. 
Like, what do I have faith in during this time? And so just be aware that I, I hear somebody saying nothing. So be mindful of that because Spirit is saying we need something bigger than, our, than ourselves to believe in. So just be aware of this. Let's see what Spirit has to say with our chakra energy. Angels and Spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. I'm just going to move up my mic. Guide this reading. Goodness. And show me clearly. Angels and Spirit guides. Here we have psychic development. I love this for you, Libra. This is a real sense of stepping into our psychic power, empathic power, spiritual power, however we say it, however we see it. We are embracing our third eye chakra more and more. I do see us being a bit apprehensive. It's like, wait, that can throw everything out of balance. And we Libras love balance. But looking here and saying, okay, how do I walk this path? How do I open up this part of myself that is a huge part of who I am and what I need to embrace? And we're opening up this sixth sense to ourselves. We're opening up this connection. We're diving deeper into it. So during this time, if you have like a feeling and you're thinking, should I listen to this? Should I not listen to it? Because you'll be surprised where embracing your feelings, embracing your intuition takes you. You really will be. You know, have that consultation with yourself. Slow down. If you if you commune through prayer or through meditation, you know, slowing down and connection and connecting with that psychic part of yourself is just going to be really important. Let's see what energy we need to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. This is the Queen of Wands reverse. This is fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We can be having a lot of fire, a lot of passion coming forward and it can be all consuming. So do be mindful about this, especially if it's a romantic relationship. Okay. Or, you know, some sort of, I, I do see it as being like somebody being all consuming during this time and leaving you very, very drained. So a romantic relationship, a business relationship, but just where somebody latches on really, really, really intensely and leaves you drained, leaves you feeling like, how do I move forward? You know, type of thing. There is also going to be this is going to be a time where work can absolutely take over. So making sure that you have a bit of a balance to that as well is going to be important. But harmonizing, looking at your fire, your determination, and where you want to be for yourself, that is going to be a really big thing so that you can kind of stabilize and, and hold, hold steady through certain fires. Okay. So we are crowned with the moon. The moon is, again, Pisces energy. So if you have Pisces in your chart, that's coming through very positively during this time. If you have Pisces in your life, that's also coming through very positively. There is this real sense of I'm spreading my wings and learning how to fly. I'm seeing myself move forward, going after where I need to be, where I want to be. If you can see here, there are three fish in the bottom. So there is this real sense of I'm connecting with luck. Luck is on my side. I see it as three koi fish. And there is this real, there's a softer illumination to things. You're going to see that the night, the, the quiet is going to be really calling to you during this time. And there's going to be a sense of quiet illumination. Also, we're talking about the moon and the moon card is crowning us. This moon is going to have a bigger impact on us than we thought. Now, if you are interested, I have kind of shaken things up again. And there's an astrology reading that is part of of this reading. There's an astrology reading for this new moon. This new moon is in Aquarius. And if you want to check that out, it's linked in the description box below. So you can check out the astrology reading for this time. It's so helpful. And because the moon is crowning you and coming through so strongly, you can definitely, you know, embrace that energy or know that energy and its astrological, you know, significance more, more profoundly now, if you want to. With the six of pentacles reverse, this is the little things. The little things during this time are going to be out of balance. There's just a sense here because this is the day today, right? The the minor arcana is the day today. And we're going to see certain things are out of balance. They're out of harmony. They're not moving as smoothly as we would like them to move. So just being aware of that during this time, we could also be wanting things to be, like we could also be asking for help. Like, you know, and, and there's just a sense of things not being as balanced. Somebody is getting more than than you. And Spirit is saying here, step into your harmony. Step into yourself. Don't be looking at everybody else, okay? Because they're on their, they're on their, their train. I don't know why it's kind of like, stop and just stop. Like, just stop and just start to see yourself. 
because it's not about anybody else. It's only about you. And that's going to be really important during this time because we're going to think for one reason or another or feel or, you know, be pulled to this time is about somebody else. This time is about you. And the world is opening to you in a very real way. Now, I love this beautiful, ethereal woman right here made out of snow and out of wind. And we're going to be seeing that during this time, during this moon, this new moon in Aquarius, that doors start to open to us. We're like, well, why can't I do that? And why can't I move forward this way? And why can't I go after this? And we're going to start to be like, well, why not? And there's just a sense of doors opening. There's just a sense of, of freedom guiding us forward. There's just a sense of, yeah, I can. <laughs> that is going to be very liberating to us. And and just a lightness of spirit coming over us with justice. This is us. This is us in the major arcana. Okay, we are, are cutting through doubts and fears and negativities, hurts and pains. Justice stands in balance. And that's going to be a really important thing because this is a time as the world opens and as we, we start to see that things are unfair in the world, like just in general, right? We are looking at things and saying, I cannot change, I cannot change everything for everyone. And that is, that it's a hard pill for a Libra or for anybody, but especially a Libra to swallow. But you're going to say, but I can be in harmony here. So I can be just, I can be fair, and I can be balanced here. And that's going to be a very important thing for you during this time. So it's not bending over backwards, trying to make everything fair for everybody else. It is saying, how do I harmonize? How do I balance me? A real connection with your solar plexus chakra is going to be super important. You have your your psychic development coming and you're going to see that your gut really talks to you. So be very mindful about the food that you're feeding yourself. Be very mindful how you're taking care of yourself. Your gut is going to be so important and so spot on during this time. With the five of swords, you're going to be facing a battle you faced before. You're not necessarily going to want to face it. And actually you may just walk away. You might be like, no, this isn't for me. This isn't what I want. And I'm not doing this again. So do be mindful about this during this time. You're going to have people no, it's not so much people thinking that you're a person you once were, right? It's you thinking, oh, I was like this, or I was like that, or it has to be like this, or it has to be like that. And in spirit's like, why? Why we're going to have the past affecting us during this time for one reason or another. And spirit's like, no, no, you're a different person, right? You've grown, you've evolved, you've changed. Now let's embrace that energy. The Ace of Swords, there's a clarity that's coming forward. Again, God, Source, Spirit, however you see the divine, the universe is handing us a gift. And that gift is going to be of a, a quick mind, a quick wit. You're, you're very clever during this time and during this new moon, from new moon to full moon, you're going to be very clever and just embracing that. You know, weighing things, you know, not making really rash decisions saying, oh, Dane said I'm clever, you know, Spirit said I'm clever. I, I can't do anything wrong. But it's going to be more of a sense of, I know my voice. I know myself. I'm cutting through the nonsense and I'm really embracing me. And that's going to be a really powerful thing for us during this time, Libra. This sense of, of clarity, of insight, of being able to put the pieces together, being able to weave things together that we weren't able to before, seeing answers that move us forward. And we're like, oh, that's what I was missing. So let's see what the moon has to say for herself. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels, and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides, angels. And spirit guides, show me clearly. Oh, interesting. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels, angels and spirit guides, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly, guide this reading and show me clearly. Okay, so it's really interesting here is that during this moon, we feel a bit stuck. We feel a bit stumped. We feel a bit like, hmm. Can I? So I'm just going to move my camera back a bit so you can see this all a bit better. Okay. So here we have protection and we have don't let pride get in the way. So protection is reversed. Do we feel as protected as we are? Not necessarily. We are going to see that this moon is very powerful for us and we can feel a little bit 
like we're free falling, like we're, we're having to figure things out. But don't let pride get in the way. Stepping out of our ego and stepping into ourselves is going to be super important. Meaning it's not what everybody wants of me. It is what I want of myself that matters. And it's going to be of the utmost importance during this time. It brings us to realization reverse. We need to realize that we are the key. And that's going to be part of this. Like seeing that protection is like, I am stepping in to me, my energy, my soul, myself. I am protected. And realizing that I myself am the key that's opening up the door, that's leading me forward. You know, here we have the little tiny person and the giant keyhole. We are that key that moves us to the next level. It brings us to a new start. It's coming. That's what this moon is is opening the door to because things aren't necessarily balanced. We don't feel like this is coming to fruition. We don't feel like a new start is coming, but spirit is saying it is. The moon is saying it is. It might not be the way that you had planned. And here, Libra, we're going to have to look at our plans and say, okay, you know what? I see you. I know you're going to go a little bit topsy-turvy during this time. And I understand that. And I'm okay with it. Do we want to be okay with it? No, we don't. We want it to go according to our plan but our plan is going to be a bit out of balance. And yet we ourselves are not going to be out of balance. It moves us here to hold to your vision. That's going to be super important so we can create, so that we can have creation move us forward, which is reverse. So even though doors are opening to us, even though there's the certain feeling of freedom and you know openness, and like, oh, of course I can do this. The creation, the way that we want to move forward, it just isn't there right now. Or we're doubting ourselves. And Spirit's like, why? why we need to do something that absolutely inspires us is if it's you know taking paint and throwing it at you know at a canvas do so like going outside putting a, a i just see you throwing paint at a wall that's what i see you doing i'm trying to think of it being clean and and not so messy but that's what i see you doing i see you throwing paint at a wall or just doing something that people are like that's a bonkers like what are you doing and just this level of just expression and creativity and kind of craziness coming forward and doing it just in this like completely bubbling over with laughter, joyous way is just going to be so important for you. It's just going to be so important. I can see you actually even doing this with somebody, especially like a little kid, if you did this with a little kid and you just make like the best memories. So yeah, I don't know exactly what it is, but I do see the sense even like filling up water balloons and like throwing them at, at like again, at a wall. It's like, and letting this burst of color come forward. It's just going to be so much fun. So yeah, just, yeah, it, it might not be something so messy. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh my gosh, that's messy. But it is going to be something that's absolutely fun, absolutely beautiful. Now here we have communication is key. That's important for us. For us, Libra, as an air sign energy, communication is always key. We have growth reverse. Even though we are empowered, even though we are emboldened, we're going to feel stunted in one way or another, probably because our plans aren't necessarily going as we have planned them. And that's okay. We are still growing. But right now, it's that exter external growth that really matters. It's internal growth that is the most important thing. Communication is key. Talk to yourself. Connect with yourself. That's going to lead you forward. This is a time for healing, but because we're we're facing something we don't want to face, we're like, mm -mm, it's not for healing and it's not for abundance. I'm a coward and I'm running away. That's not the case. I know somebody is feeling that way. I know something is coming up where it's like, I can't handle that. I don't want to handle that. So here, knowing that this is a time for healing, this is a time for abundance, but it's like slowing down and it's being kinder to yourself. It's being more gracious with yourself. It's saying, okay, no, I'm stepping back. There's something here. We're not the same person we once were and we're judging ourselves off of, off of the past. And that's going to, that's, that's harsh. That's not right. So just be aware of this. Excuse me. I'm going to cough. <coughs> I do apologize. Okay. We have surrender to the divine and then nourishment. The Ace of Swords, this clarity from God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, is going to nourish you. We're going to have a hard time surrendering to the divine. Even though we have faith moving us forward, we are going to have a hard time surrendering and saying, you know what? It's not all about me. I surrender. I move forward. I'm creating. I'm cultivating. Let's see what happens. When we surrender to the divine, that's going to be a really nourishing time for us. It doesn't mean that we become like apathetic to our world. It's not like, oh, I surrender to the divine and whatever happens, happens. You know, we still have to be an active participant in our existence, but 
when we surrender to the divine, there's going to be the sense of I'm connecting with myself psychically, spiritually, you know, emotionally. I'm connecting with this world and I'm opening up the doors in a way that I hadn't imagined that I could. And then that nourishes my soul, that nourishes myself. And it brings knowledge in a way that I hadn't imagined I could be accumulating that knowledge. It brings us to our subconscious spirit message. And this is wish. And this is reverse. We're kind of thinking, I don't get what I wish for. Or, you know, what I wish for isn't coming true. It's not necessarily the case. It's different than what we have imagined. And that's going to be a really big part of this moon. It's different than what you imagined. It's no less powerful. It's just different. It brings us then to our subconscious chakra message. This is flexibility. The sacral chakra has been coming up a lot. And we're going to see that this is a time where we need to be more flexible, where we are embracing the flexibility of our spirit, of our soul, of ourselves. The sacral chakra is our sensual energy within our body. It is also our creative energy. And just knowing there that we need to have more flexibility within us. It's not saying that we have to do anything wild and crazy. It's just like, okay, how do I want to create? How do I want to cultivate? Like, how do I want to open up the door? How am I blessing myself? And letting that energy kind of move within us and take us places that we usually would say like, oh no, no, that couldn't be, or it has to follow these rules or those rules. It's going to be exciting. I like that. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is the Prince of Cups. Be mindful of people using love as a manipulative factor. Okay. So just be aware of this. Be mindful of, of emotions being yeah, used against you. And it's very much a sense of if you love me, I, you would. If you love me, you would. So just be mindful of somebody saying that. Like, if you love me, you would. And it's like, mm, okay. Our subconscious tarot message is a tower reversed. We are coming out of a time that was very traumatic for us, that was filled with upheaval, that was emotionally very, very intense. And we're going to see that subconsciously, we're, we're looking at things as like, okay, how do I rebuild? How do I move forward? Where is it that I really want to be? Our subconscious Luna message is self-love. And then we have the new moon in Libra reversed. And that's important because we're Libra, right? And we're in the new moon. And it says a new romantic cycle begins. Not until self-love will a new romantic cycle begin. It's like love you first and love you hard. Like just be able to look at yourself and be like, God, I'm good. Like, yeah, I'm really quite quite amazing. And it's not in that egotistical way. It's not in that way where people are like, oh my gosh, I'm so awesome. And you're thinking, really? But in that sense of, you know, there's one person you're with for your whole entire existence, and that's yourself. And just that thinking of like, you know what? I'm, I'm pretty darn happy that that happens to be the case. You know, I cannot have a better best friend than me. And owning that. Again, some things are out of balance during this time, you're going to want everything to be perfect. It's not going to be, but it's going to be pretty darn good, Libra. Okay. All right, Libra. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, Exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Libra. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. And happy moon. And have a happy moon. Bye.